In this week's Above the Terror Line, we're going to discuss the process behind how U.S. government informants are debriefed inside the United States. U.S. government informants are met and debriefed by special agents in various settings across the country, from coffee shops to hotel rooms. Operationally, the agent always selects the meeting site and venues are chosen based on the degree of trust one is placed in the confidential informant. Prior to the meeting with the informant, the agent will conduct a surveillance detection route known as an SDR to look for surveillance. We have many pieces on our website discussing the purpose and intentions of the SDR and I would encourage you to read them if you have additional interest. Depending upon the threat or risk to the agent or the informant at the meeting site, backup agents can also be used in a surveillance capacity to ensure the meeting site has not been compromised. For example, the debriefing of a cartel source from Mexico in Laredo poses a different risk than a white-collar whistleblower from Wall Street. If a surveillance team is in use, a standard rule of thumb is for the team to be deployed at least one hour ahead of time at the meeting site. Their job is to look for hostile surveillance and to provide security backup if needed. Contrary to what you see in the movies, very rarely are the informant meetings recorded electronically by the agents. If money is going to be exchanged between the agent and the informant, there is usually another agent present as a witness to the transaction. The informant will also sign or initial a receipt and a code name after a white envelope of cash is passed. Process-wise, some agencies like the FBI dictate that informant meetings are always done by two agents. On the other hand, the CIA likes one-on-one -on -one meetings to better foster a relationship and trust. What's the above the tear line with this video? Informant meetings can be risky and dangerous. Steps are taken to not only ensure the safety of the agent, but also the informant. The compromise of informants in some gangs or terrorist organizations can lead to death, so confidentiality of the source is taken very seriously by the agents involved. Intelligence collection is a difficult business and can pose gaps that can only be filled by those with direct knowledge of the case or investigation. Those gaps can usually only be filled by human sources.